Good morning, everybody. I'm going to tell you about a couple sponsors before I get into this podcast with two guests today. Hartford Denim Company, a.k.a. Hardenco, is a manufacturer of the strongest clothes available. We at Hardenco stand by that statement by backing all of our products with free repairs for the life of the garment. Made using only the highest quality materials, everything we produce is cut and sewn in our shop in Harvard, Connecticut. We also specialize in the production and com- uh, production of commercial aprons for, but not limited to, the restaurant, bar, and woodworking industries. Please see www.hardenco.com for more information. That's H A R for Hartford, D E N for Denim, C O for Company.com. 236 Hamill Street, Hartford, Connecticut. School has just started. If you do not have your Hartford Company jeans, you are a fucking loser and you're probably wearing Jenkos. This episode of the podcast is brought to you by Demi Kelly's Barbershop and Emporium, located at 6 Kirby Road in Cromwell, Connecticut. Exit 21 off I-91, Demi Kelly's Barbershop uh, specializes in all types of men's haircuts and hot shaves. Services are available by appointment only, which can be made conveniently online at demichellesbarbershop.com. That's D-I-M-I-C-H-E-L-E-S barbershop.com or by calling 860 502 3540. Gift cards are available in any denomination, and they also offer my personal favorite, their own water-soluble pomade. So go get a fresh cut, a clean shave, and some awesome product, and tell them Ben sent you. D. Michele's Barbershop and Emporium, responsible barbering. I actually didn't get a haircut this week because I go every two weeks, but I am going to see my friend Eli very soon and get a haircut. All right, ladies and gentlemen, a proud sponsor of uh, BB with BG. Oh, Wow. The phone is ringing here. Oh, my God. Someone's calling Paul. Better call Paul. The Cold Brew Coffee Company offers you their infamous nitro cold brew and now carries a a selection of delicious and refreshing nitro teas. Products are fair trade, organic, and available at your favorite Connecticut bars, restaurants, farmers markets, and more. Not in Connecticut? No problem. Products are available for purchase online at coldbrewcc.com. Stay up to date with the newest flavors and retailers by checking out Cold Brew CC on Instagram. Cold Brew CC, the best damn cold brew. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. All right, let's see what Manix got this week, shall we? Let's see what these motherfuckers are doing right now. Boom, boom, boom. All right, you guys will be hearing this Tuesday, so let's uh let's go out a little bit. What do we got? So the fifteenth, mute math. Colony House and Rome's at College Street Music Hall, New Haven. That's on the 15th. Doors at 7, show at 8. All ages, 20 to $22. Don't really know what the difference in between the prices is, but whatever. And then Honduras, All Riot, and Dr. Martino at Cafe 9 in New Haven on uh, September 11th. Doors at 7, shows at 9, 21 plus. It's free with an RSVP. To Manic Presents. So I guess if you just go on their website, you, you can RSVP. If not, it's $5 at the door. Why wouldn't you want to RSVP to them and do that? Huh, let's check the events. What else have we got going on right now? Dun, 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 dun. Things I want to let you guys know about. Keep you in the loop. Da, 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 na, 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 na. Go happy birthday to the bear. Jamie McDonald, it's his birthday today. Uh, oh, here we go. Syllable, September 11th or 10th at Little River. Oh, yeah, that's today. Never fucking mind. Da, da, da. Yeah, that's about it. Not giving anybody any light. Whatever. Oh, shit, hold on. This is, uh. yeah, we got to talk about this one. For people in the New London area, go see my boy Strife on September 15th with special guests at Strange Brew Pub. Strife's going to wrap your face off. It's a countdown to our move downtown continues one week closer. Yeah, if you guys want to hear a hip-hop show, go to the Strange Brew Pub in Norwich on September 15th. And I think that's that. 
Oh, wait, hold on. Chukai, Year of the Knife, separated in Vamachara, September 16th at the Wham Leg. For all my hardcore listeners out there, you know where it is, you know who they are, and go fucking watch. Support CT Hate Records, and that's that. All right. I break bread, 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 break two guests that were on individually at one point and I brought them back together. They are my friends Scoby and Chumzilla. Say hi. 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 Whoa. Mm. <laughs> Is that loud? Whoa. <laughs> Am I loud? No, it was just a lot. Oh, yeah. At, at once. So yes. I had these fine gentlemen come up today because I've gotten a bunch of new equipment for the podcast. I'm now using Ableton, and I now have a preamp. However, I do need to get a uh, microphone uh, amp. Headphone amp. Headphone amp. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. That's why you're here. Thank you. You also yep. have an ill-ass new studio with working telephone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, the phone <laughs> you heard before was a phone behind me ringing. Jesus. It's not mine. It's my landlord's, but that's funny. You sound great. Thank you. There's a nice pencil sharpener over there. You see that? Yeah. It's right behind you. You got to... You want to stick your cock in there? <laughs> stick your finger in there. Your, your soda can definitely won't fit in there. None of these things are going to fit in there. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I sound... I sound like weird. Do I sound good to you guys? Yeah. yeah everything sound sounds fine, good yeah. to me. You guys sound good. I don't sound good. It's, I almost feel like I can't even hear myself. It's very weird. Is that... I can hear you. Is the headphones just too quiet? No, it's like muffled. Okay. Here, you want to listen? Listen. Yeah, Okay. <laughs> There's also a uh, old copy machine in here. Oh yeah. You hear that? Yeah. Does it sound good? It is quiet. Yeah, it's quiet, right? Quite, like, Am I the middle? Check this out, see. Hold on. It's not that the quality's quiet, it's just that I think that headphone thing is is different, you know? There's a fax machine. Yeah, yeah. check. Yeah, yeah it's kind of it's, it's different, you know. It's a little different. Yeah. So oh, we'll we'll work on it. We'll get you a headphone preamp. Do these two gentlemen uh work out of a studio with Apathy down in uh New London, Connecticut, and that's why they're here because I've recorded a million rap songs before, but all I do is get in the booth and rap. I have nothing to do with any sort of Yeah music recording and learning how to relearn how to use like logic and garage band was hard enough and these motherfuckers hit me with a fucking ableton program and now i am just like i feel like i'm just like going from my first day (laughs) at med school like i don't know what anything is this is fucking terrifying fucking alien technology when you look at it for well you hit the little red button that's all that matters here pull that over no no you could keep that one just pull this over your thing oh yeah there we go yo we're starting a new band up here. It's called There Were Wires. There Were Wires. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, we'll clean this up, but this works for now. I yeah. Mean, this is nice. Well, uh, I'm cutting edge now. I just don't, you totally. know. I'm going to have to learn how to use all this shit. Mm-hmm. The actual band name is Phantom Penis. Okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> your band name. So is yeah. that like Phantom Lin Syndrome where you think you have a dick Do you ever you have don't? phantom pain in your penis? All the time. No. Do you ever have a pain in your penis? Yeah. Like just uh, shoot out of nowhere? I've had that once before, like in the, in the inside, but I've no. had surgery Ugh. done on my penis. I have not. Yeah. Speaking of, I actually told the story about the piss mummy to about <laughs> two, 200, like, well-off, middle-aged white people at the Mark Twain house is, the other is night. Is that what that picture was? <laughs> dude, yeah. oh, was I was terrified. You get a 10-minute slot. <laughs> I walked up there, dude, and... I don't, I, I'm never one. I'm very humble. I'm never one to like play myself up. I fucking killed it. Because if you can tell a story about how your dick leaks piss <laughs> to a bunch of fucking 30, 40, 50, 60 year olds and they're rolling, you've got something going on. I, I it think was, so. It was funny because Kion Wolf from NPR. And when when the the thing was put out, you had to like uh, apply. You had to like ask yeah, yeah. to be in it. And then they pick so many people, and they picked me. Yeah. And um, she at the bottom of the description, it was like profanity isn't is allowed. Like don't like fucking censor yourself. And when I got there, and Megan for like two weeks was like. I don't know how I feel about you telling a story about your dick to like strangers. And I was like, honey, it's like, it's okay. Like nobody, it's not like that. And when I got there, Kion was like, listen, dude, don't worry about 
the profanity. We had a guy here last a uh, couple the last time we did this, and is a beautiful gay man, and he talked about how he went to an all gay orgy, <laughs> and he left with not only a pearl necklace but a pearl scarf. And he told, <laughs> oh he told a story of a gay orgy and getting come on <laughs> in front of this same crowd. So I didn't feel bad at all. I was like, okay, fine. I'm going to tell this That's story. That's incredible. Totally, totally fine. And I didn't was, know that was such a thing. Yeah, dude. A, a scarf? Well, well, I've never heard well, of a pearl scarf. That's, um, you're just surrounded by dicks. Well, like the, it's if, like a well, circle No, I, the thing right? is, like, I think is like if like... I was fucking a man, and I came on his neck area. That's a pearl necklace. Yeah. But if you have like ten guys come on your neck area, that's a per, a, per, a pearl scarf. I just it ima- just means more come on your neck. I just imagine a circle jerk happening. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Bunch of guys jerking off on each other. Fuck it. <laughs> 2017. <laughs> yeah, I'm down. <laughs> I'm not down to be there. <laughs> Imagine uh, you just were walking one day and you just, I just looked got a little into fired like, up. No. <laughs> you got all excited. Imagine you just like look into like an apartment window and you just see the hugest gay orgy going on. <laughs> I would probably stand there for a minute or two and just watch. Do you think would, gay would you, orgies get a lot of foot traffic? Would you? Would you? What post, was that? What was that? Did you hear that? <laughs> oh. oh, turn your god! Di- oh my god! <laughs> I thought it was the phone. Yeah, me too. I was like, no, I unplugged that bitch. There's no batteries. It's dead. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Dude, yeah, like, like I, I myself have never taken part in an orgy. I haven't yet. Yeah, I know. Definitely, <laughs> Scobie hasn't because he's a nice guy. Yep, not gonna happen. No, you're no. about to get married. You're married and you have a baby. A baby on the yeah, way. A baby on the way. A baby on the way. If a couple like attractive people asked me and Meg to do it, if Meg would consent to do it, I would do it. But I wouldn't want to do it with a bunch of gross people. No. <laughs> Imagine like fucking a bunch of like Walmart customers. <laughs> <laughs> like that would be gross. <laughs> no, that. Yeah, no. You know, I'm why? a Walmart customer though. I'm, yeah. I'm in Walmart all the time. Yeah. But imagine having sex with... Imagine you could only have sex with the pulling from the pool of Walmart. Does it include employees? No. Ooh. It's got to be just customers. Because uh, you could be pretty yeah. put together and work at Which Walmart, Walmart though? Because I've been to a lot, of call, a lot of Walmart. Well, I'm saying, like, you go to a Walmart in fucking South Bend, Dakota, <laughs> or whatever it is, to Indiana, or you go to, like, Walmart in, like, Beverly Hills. Well, mm-hmm. well Walmart... In in Waterford, <laughs> it's strange. It, yeah, then you go to Groton. There's just the next closest one, and it's stranger. Yes, yeah, that area is different. Yeah, you guys, I don't know. Like, I feel like I feel like all it all, Connecticut is very spotty. You can go mm-hmm. anywhere and find like total white trash or total affluence. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, it's very weird. And there's no like, um, there's no easing into any of these neighborhoods either. <laughs> no, it's like. It's like, whoa, I might get shot. Then you literally go half a block over. And it's like five car garage. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that's like the north end of Hartford. It's like the ma- the governor's mansion mm-hmm. is right there. You make <laughs> one turn and you're on Albany Avenue. Yeah. There's Holy like a shit. Scott's bakery yeah. with fucking Jamaican beef patties and just like a fucking cricket wireless. <laughs> well, like you can literally throw a fucking rock and hit the governor's mansion back door. It's you very can, You can weird. throw your cricket wireless phone at the <laughs> governor's mansion. <laughs> Oh, Yo, man. Malloy, fuck you. Here's oh, my I, phone. I can't wait till he's fucking out of here. <laughs> Imagine he was listening. Daniel. He might Daniel. be listening. Imagine? Yes. If you're listening, Daniel. Daniel. Number one, I want to tell you, fuck you. <laughs> number two, I want you to remember the time I gave you the finger to your face while you were shopping at Trader Joe's. No, you didn't. <laughs> Dude, I was sta- I was uh, not working there anymore. I saw him in there when oh. I was shopping, and he was with two aides, <laughs> and I... Went like this, and I wanted to get my phone behind it so I could like take a picture. Yeah, yeah. But as I was pulling my phone out, one of the aides saw and started walking oh, towards no. me, and I just ran out into the parking lot. What was he gonna do? You can't get yeah. arrested I, I for thought, giving somebody the finger. I thought you were gonna say Asians instead of AIDS. <laughs> no, <for some> <laughs> yeah, he had he two always... Asians with him. <laughs> Chum takes it there. Oh my god! But uh, <laughs> I, I also want to tell him, like, what the fuck were your parents doing when they named you? Yeah, Does your Daniel. dad have a fucking lisp? <laughs> what do you want to name your kid? <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> da- well, Daniel's not too far off. And people come here from all these other states, and I have friends that like drive up here, and they're like, yo, did they fucking like 
misspell his name on the sign nope. when you nah. get into Connecticut? No, dude. Nah. It's like flannel, but <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> Daniel. So fuck you two Where's times Where's he over. from? Oh, yeah, I guarantee he's not born in Connecticut. I have no idea. South he's a, Dakota. He's a motherfucker, man. He's cut. He cut. The re- main reason I don't like him is there was cuts to the budget in Connecticut that totally cut like mental health services. Yep. And then there was a new cut now to the parks. Like, leave the parks alone. Hey, what the fuck? They still need to get mowed. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bastard. But hey, that, those are the things we deal with. You guys are both from Connecticut, so oh. you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we're up here. We're drinking some Berry La Croix. La Croix. Yeah. Right after this, we're going to go get Hot one. Pot. Yep. I've never had this one. Yeah, it's good. What, I finished what kind mine of berry is it? That's the thing. Like, what berry? I don't know. Like, you, I had, I slept over at my friend's house in Boston one night. Dinkleberries. Yeah, imagine. Just <laughs> shit. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Toilet paper and shit. Yeah. <laughs> I slept over at my friend Jimmy's house in Boston. Uh, he was out of town, and I needed a place to stay, and he just pretty much gave me his key. And I woke up the next morning to leave, and I looked in his fridge, and he had the saddest La Croix flavor ever. I didn't even know what they they made. Because usually it's just like... It's that pump- shitty coconut one. No, it's it? like... No, that one's good. Fuck or that it's one. like Pompello, or like two flavors in one. There was, he had just straight orange. Oh. And I was like, oh, I was no. Like, That's Whoa. not a good one. I was like, wow. I didn't even... Know. I've never even seen it. Yeah. It was so strange. And I had one, and it was very weird. Yeah, the, the whatever, the... Pomp, what it the other word for grapefruit that's a good one. Oh, well, yeah. Well, Pompello is totally a different fruit, yeah, but it's like a big ass grapefruit, or or you know what? I'm sorry, a pomelo is a different fruit. Pompello is like a nut, uh, is grapefruit in an in like French or something, yeah. I Weird. think, yeah, yeah. Megan went and got some like rose the other day from the liquor store across the street, and it was called Pamploon. <laughs> And it was just like a grapefruit flavored rose. And that shit's like the new Arbor Mist. Women are losing their fucking <laughs> minds over this shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fucking Arbor Mist. Yeah. Imagine. <laughs> oh, dude. You've definitely downed like a bottle of Arbor Mist, yeah. right? Yeah. It's got yeah. that like cloudy glass like <laughs> yeah. bottle to it. Have you ever? It, it's, oh, no. It's like Absolutely a, not. It's like a hard, clearly Canadian. <laughs> yeah. Did mm. you ever have, did you ever drink a whole <laughs> bottle of Boone's Farm? No. No. I've heard of it. Really? I've never never had it. Oh god. You're okay. Boone <laughs> but yeah, Boone's farm is fucking strange, bro. Or do do you guys remember as far back as Purple Passion? Yeah. Maybe yeah. you don't. I don't. How old are you? Thirty one. Yeah. You're what? Dude, you know I'm thirty six. Yeah, that was our era. I remember, it, and it came in a bot, like a soda bottle, Whoa. like a two yeah. liter, and it was called Purple yeah. Passion, and it was in the vein of Cisco. Do you remember Cisco? Yes. Oh, Cisco. Everybody thought Cisco had cocaine in it, or like an amphetamine. No, they used to call it liquid crack. Yeah, Cisco yeah. was like four loco <laughs> before four loco. Twenty local. years before. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, like, yeah, like <clears throat> yeah, the bum wines. Yeah. Cisco, and Mad Dog, Mad 2020, Dog 2020, Thunderbird. Mm-hmm. I've shit. never had a Thunderbird. Oh. Never had a Thunderbird. No. <laughs> I've had Mad Dog the beer. I don't yeah. know what that. No, you've had Red Dog. Oh, Red, Red Dog. dog. Yeah, Red that's dog. It. Yeah. Red that dog. is the shit worst beer, beer yes. ever. That was a shit beer. I you... remember dudes would show up to keg parties with like a thirty pack of fucking Red Dog because it was like two bucks. Yo, you're just turning into a pedophile in like ten years. <laughs> <laughs> like that's you're just letting everybody know what kind of life path you're gonna take. My dad <laughs> used to buy Red Dogs for Scoby Fest. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, you could only get them on the Navy base, which that's the only place I've ever seen it. Really? Yeah, and it's like wow. fifteen dollars for a thirty rack. You know it's terrible. The one DWI I've ever gotten in my life was due to Ice House. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. The year Wait, I graduated oh, no. from high school, I got a DWI because I drank a whole pint of E and J. VSOP Ooh. Ooh. with a six pack of ice house. Easy, easy Jesus. And we we're all like um, evil Jesus. Yeah. We we're all, I had to bring Chauncey to some girl's house in Glastonbury <laughs> to fuck. And I was the most sober of the crew. So oh, I drove man. my friend's oh, my car. God. And they found like one of those crappy weed scales, those metal weed scales you oh, used yeah. to have with yeah. the clip on it. It's yeah. like a fish and, scale, I think. And they found one of those in the kids, uh, my friend Ryan's like glove compartment. And the cop was hitting him in the head, going, What is this? What is this? Like smacking him in the head. Oh my God. Yeah, that was the one DWI I've ever gotten in my life. You know what I used to crush? What? Those fucking Saint I special brews. 
Those were cool. Yeah. Those were cool. And then I, I revisited them in like the early 2000s. Mm-hmm. Fucking disgusting. Oh, yeah. So gross. Yeah. Like anything with sugar with alcohol is weird. You can feel your stomach rotting the minute you crack that bottle open. Dude, I know so many dudes that love twisted teas. Oh, those God. aren't dudes. Those are- <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Dude, Zima's back. I saw that. Dude, I want to try it just because I, I never I tried DJ'd it. I DJed a party, a '90s party, where, with a bunch of Zima. Dude, and they got Zima Gold. <laughs> what the fuck oh, is that? No. Yeah, there's a clear Zima, and then there's like a yellow gold Zima. Does it just look like piss? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> exactly like piss. Yeah. The same hue of piss. <laughs> Chum had two 12 packs of natty. Ice in the studio. Oh one, yeah, last week <laughs> I almost took Why? one just to see what it tastes like. Don't. That's <laughs> disgusting. Um, no, these dudes they they pay me for studio time. Oh yeah, okay. And they come by with beers, and like they drink like two of them. And they're like and here, they the, rest the rest are yours. I'm like I don't fucking That's a drink great that. Payment. What yeah. is that? Five dollars of beer. Bring yeah. me something good. You know. So, so um, I was at my friend's house the other night. And her neighbors downstairs, they drank Natty Ice. So I just left the twelve pack of Natty Ice in front of their door, <laughs> just like a like a little gift. Yeah, here. That's fucking great. This. The last thing I ever drank, I think, was Sierra Nevada I the Pale Ale, the IPA. Mm, there you go. That was the last alcoholic yeah. beverage I've ever ingested. I accidentally took a huge swig of a gin and tonic once, mm. <laughs> like maybe like four years ago, because I went to this weird show with all these people and I was drinking water. Oh, yeah. And the guy was putting lime in it. Uh-huh. And everybody else's shit was gin and tonic. And it looked just like oh. that. And I picked up the wrong one and I took a fucking huge sip. And before I could even like pull the glass away from my mouth, I just felt my <laughs> fucking throat <laughs> burn. And I was like, oh my God. Like I totally forgot what it what any sort of liquor tasted like. And I was just very weird for the next twenty minutes. Did you get lit? I was just standing there looking, just looking around. Oh. And then it went it passed. And I was just like, Oh my god. You got hot for like 20 seconds. Yeah, my forehead was yeah. like sweating and shit. It was so fucking weird, dude. Oh man. So we're gonna go get hot pot after this. Yeah. yeah. You've had hot pot before, right? I don't think so. You've never went to one of the restaurants where they have like a little burner right on the table for you and it boils the the soup and you just No. All right. So for people that don't know, so um in Mongolian Hark- thing. Who? It's a Mongolian thing, right? I thought you said Marco Anthony. Yeah, me too. I was like, <laughs> yeah. what about him? Mark no, Anthony? They're, no, they're, a Mongolian grill is you go around, it's like hometown buffet, and you yeah. take all the uncooked shit you want, and you put it on a plate, and you give it to them, and they throw it on this big like grill oh, okay. that's in the middle, like a big circular grill, and they just mash it all up and cook it for you and give it to you. Yep. <laughs> this is like you pick your broth. And some are spicy, some are like vegetable ones, and you pick all the other shit you want to put in it, and it all comes to the table raw, and you cook it in the boiling broth, and it's fucking banging. Han Hot Pot on Prospect in Hartford Mm. is where I've been going every week. I go once a week. It's me and Megan's Sunday like tradition, and you guys are all coming with us. It's dope. Yeah. You guys sound so much better than I do. That's just because we sound better. I don't oh, what know. the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I hope I, this doesn't come out where I sound like totally like I don't yelling know. through a fucking toilet paper tube. No, <laughs> everything looks good. I think it's just like the no, way you fine. yeah, the way you're used to hearing it. I think it's very yeah. weird. Very weird. Sounds good to me. It's weird when you upgrade your. I kind of, I kind of, kind of have a sex voice on today. Yeah, you, you do. do have a sex yeah. voice. Your pillow talk. Yep. So my monitor has gone black. I didn't think it would since this is plugged in. Oh, you just move your mouse. It'll. It should come back. Hello. There it is. No. No. Your monitor went black. Yeah. Look. Come over here. Sit on his lap, Scoby. Touch his face. Rub his beard. It's oh. still going. It's still going, but like, why? I want to be able to see it. I, there's probably like something I could lock it. Fifteen minutes screen delay, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll the, just I'll just remember to fucking. We'll have to fix that. Touch it. Touch it. Touch shit. <clears throat> what are you looking at? 
I don't know. I see you over there. <laughs> eye <and laughs> You're your eye and What are you looking at? <laughs> you were looking like like a scared little kid. <laughs> at some point, um, I want to get Wi-Fi up here. Yes. And I'm yeah. going to use my other computer. And I have an, somebody that wants to intern. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. So they're going to be like the Googler. Ooh. And oh, I'm, nice. And I'm, I've got a monitor. So yeah. like right here, we'll have a monitor. Hey, Google that. Boom. And we'll just discuss so this. I bet he's Google got stuff. internet up here because he's got a phone up here and he's got two computers. He's oh, yeah, yeah but these, the these computers yeah. are like from 1991. But he's probably yeah, got a, a cable. Yeah, he's he's, it might not be Wi-Fi ready, but I have, can bring a thing up here. Yeah. They have Prodigy on them, these computers. Oh, yeah. They have fucking Oregon Trail. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, fucking crazy? And Carta. No, oh, I, I bet you could just find a Wi-Fi router and fucking jack the shit. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to do it. Just jack it off. Jack it off. Jerk off the Wi-Fi router. Either of you guys see It? Not yet. Mm -hmm. I heard it's the worst movie ever. I've seen mixed reviews. I, I, I keep hearing it's amazing. Then I keep hearing it's shit. I just don't understand how it could be such a polar thing. Like, usually people are like, it was okay, and it's all across the board. Or everybody's being like, it was so amazing. Yeah. Or everybody's like, it sucks. But I am seeing people say both sides of the... Of the so it must be artistic. People were saying that about The Witch, so. too, though. I loved The Witch. It was amazing. Black Phillip? Yeah. Dude, fucking... Never saw it. Fucking... You need to watch it. Oh, my it. God, you gotta watch amazing it. Amazing movie. Like, I went, I went and saw it in a theater... And when I was walking out, people were bitching about, oh, that wasn't a horror movie. No, that was. It was scary. Dude, it I, was cool. I felt uncomfortable the whole time I watched that movie. It felt like an M. Night Shyamalan movie, the way mm -hmm. it was filmed. Because it was very yeah. smart and very cool. You know what me and Meg watched the other night? And she wouldn't finish it with me because it was bumming her out so bad. <laughs> but I thought it was one of the best films I've ever seen in my life. That one called Silence, where mm -hmm. the two, the two guys from the Portuguese church go to Japan and try okay. to convert the Japanese to to Christianity. Oh yeah, I've been meaning to watch that. And the dude cut, that played Kylo Ren in Star Wars is like yeah. one of the main characters. Mm -hmm. Dude, that shit was so fucking brutal and crazy. And Meg don't like that shit. Oh. Yeah. And it was she left the room and went really? upstairs, and I was like, "I'm sorry, babe, but this is one of the best movies I've ever seen. I'm going to finish it, dude. It was so fucking good. And yeah, I gotta she watch will that. Fight me to the end on it. She's like, crazy. it was so sad. It was so depressing. Yeah, that makes a good movie, <laughs> like because you know it's not like your it's not your life. You know what I mean? But yep. like, it was so crazy it's about these two dudes that like they were like, what are they called? Like missionaries that they go to Japan. And they mm -hmm. try to like start converting like the Japanese into Christians, and mm -hmm. they were finding these small pockets of people in villages that were all about Christ. But when like the Shogun and all the other like main guys would come through, they'd have to act like they weren't into Christianity, and yeah. they had to like hide them and shit. It was crazy. It was That's fucking wild. dude. Ten out of ten, I gave that thing. That's crazy. So whatever. Good. I, I hear anybody talk about missionaries, I just think about sex. Yeah, you think about yes, of course pumping. you do. Humping yeah. and fucking, humping <laughs> and fucking. You know, I'm going to turn myself down a little bit because yeah, now yeah, I'm like yeah. looking at you guys' waveform and mine. You're getting hot. You're getting yeah. hot. You know, fired up over bothered. there. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I could like change this in the end. It's yeah. all right. So. Well, I think we should switch to condenser mics like the one you got in this little box and yeah. you get those scissors. They're only 11 bucks on, on uh, I got two. Amazon. I the got two oh, upstairs. Oh, you get the scissor yeah. stands? Yeah, but we like need the, those for real. It sucks because like a table like this well, it's, with a lip, Yeah. it's like you got to go under. We'll you make can't it go work. side. Yeah, yeah. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. This is dope though. Yeah, we're having this a good time. This is a real studio. Now yeah. you just need a fridge up here. Yeah, I'm going to get a fridge. There's totally a weird porn stash in here somewhere. It's got to be. Dude, listen. He's got I, an active subwoofer back there. Yeah, I definitely I saw like. That. Oh, he's got a shredder. He's got a safe right here. I've What's definitely. What's safe? I don't know. You haven't looked? Probably doc, that's that's probably it. Document. That's it. That's the porn stash. No. Hold on. Yeah. Well, he's got kids, so, I mean, maybe he's. Oh, no. Don't. Yeah, no. There's. <laughs> That thing is so fucking like, <laughs> Fort Knox. See, that's it. Well, he, he wouldn't have like given you this spot without it's knowing not. you're gonna look. It's homemade no. porn. He's my boy. He's got homemade porn in there. Imagine is I that found... really a door table? Yeah, that's an yeah, actual door. door that he made into a desk, and his brother made this for him, like this news desk thing. It is a news desk. Yeah, 
for anybody that doesn't know what we're talking about, I um, procured a studio for my podcast from my landlord, and uh, we're having a good time up here. There's it's a lot of weird old stuff up here. There's a lot of weird old stuff. Yeah, dude, look at all those books back there. Look at that fucking... He's got multiple remote control cars. He threw one out the other day. I wanted to take it out of the garbage. Here's a fucking VCR up here. Yeah. Like an old VCR, too. Yeah. I didn't even look around. I was just fucking... Wait, I don't even think that's a VCR. It's like an old CD player. No, he's got that's a That's how old that CD shit. player is. That is a five CD DVD disc changer. No, oh. the thing under oh, it. No, that's a, that's a VCR. It's a VCR? It's huge. Yeah. Unless that's some weird kind of like dat reel tape. Nah. No, it says oh, VHS, a VHS on it. logo on it. This is VHS. I we, can see now because of these. Oh, you got your glasses yeah. on. What are you guys gonna get at Hot Pot for your ingredients? I don't know. I get, um, uh, uh, uh I get Chinese sausage. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah. Um, I get quail eggs. There you go. I get um, the streaky pork. And I also get hot, spicy beef. What the fuck is streaky pork? It's weird. It's uh, my friend that actually put me onto the place told yep. me to get that, and it looks like rolled up lunch meat, mm -hmm. but you fucking put it in like in like it cooks the meat in like thirty seconds. It's and like it cooks, thin, so it's it, like could, you got to leave the vegetables in there for a little bit yeah. longer. But yeah. like it's pretty good, and. Uh, yeah, Weird. it's just good, dude. It's good. I'm gonna get a spicy one today because it like unclogs my nose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been waking up every morning with this nostril clogged, and it gives me a headache, and I don't know why. That sucks. I you think still it's got, got the weather change. I think it's got something to do with dehydration, also. Maybe working out too hard in the gym, dude. I'm fucked. I haven't done anything. My back is totally broken. I I uh. I discontinued my gym membership and I started going to the Muay Thai gym. Oh yeah. Yeah, I got to go get a gi so I could start doing jujitsu. Yeah. But I, all I've been doing is like kettlebell shit, and I have it in the basement in the the garage under here. So you're gonna be the new Steven Seagal. I'm trying to be. <laughs> yeah. I could be because he's just like strong and like uh, he knows what he's doing. Yet he's still fat. Yeah. And tall. Totally. With yeah. that weird little ponytail. Yeah. I won't have a ponytail, but I could pull the front of my hair into a ponytail like this. <laughs> <laughs> you know Steven Seagal has multiple albums, right? Dude, me and Meg were looking at all the movies that you can watch on Netflix from mm -hmm. him. He has <laughs> he made like six movies in t last year in 2016. Wow. Like he's yeah. still making movies, and they're all <clears throat> fucking sick. <laughs> like, but they all suck, but I'll watch that. They're all the same movie pretty much. Pretty much. Oh, yeah, you know, I got to save some people, you know? Yeah, fucking uh, ex-military yeah. guy. Yeah. With a hot girl. <laughs> yeah. There's always, like, one, like, D-less celebrity hot woman. <laughs> He's know? super big in Asia. Like, I just want to watch a girl suck his cock. <laughs> that would be, like, the best Steven Seagal movie ever. With his big, fat belly in the way. Like, <laughs> He's like, yeah. Ex military, nope. suck my cock. In that movie would be called Cock Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But he's like taekwondoing somebody away from him at the same time. Yeah. No, he's like getting his dick sucked while dudes yeah. are running up to him and he's just chopping them. Chop, chop. <laughs> Get away from me. He's, co he's chopping away the cock blockers. The cock blockers. This is Exit Wounds 2. Oh. Right? Was that the movie with him in DMX? Yes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Why? They did two. <laughs> No, that, that 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 would be the premise of it, though. Oh, exit wounds too. Yeah, and the uh, it would the tagline would be, um, "Cock I'm, Ranger." I'm not a nice person. <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not a nice person. Dude, I DJed a wedding yesterday, and I played a lot of DMX at the wedding. Did you? Yeah. That's wonderful. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Whose wedding was it? Were um, they were the people that you get, got married actual DMX fans, or did you just push it on them? <laughs> nope. I'm Both. gonna guess they were all white people. <laughs> yeah, they were. Um, totally no, not, white. Not necessarily. Um, the bride was Brazilian, and uh, the groom is uh, Austrian. So hmm. it's an interesting That's a mix. Very mi interesting yeah. mix. Yeah. Um, my before me and you knew each other way back, I had this girlfriend named Anna, and uh, she um, her family was Polish, 
and her sister got married to uh, an Indian kid. Well, so it was all these Polacks and all these <laughs> Indians, <laughs> and it was fucking sick. And then her, his parents had money. So they got married yeah. in the fucking rainbow room in the NBC building on like Whoa. the 60th floor. <laughs> the Half of the people in the band were dudes that were in the Jay Leno band. And the wow. fucking dance floor was a huge wooden circle that spun. That's crazy. There was a whole extra side room bigger than this room just for duck. And then there was a whole nother what? room with like... I shit you not. There was a whole other room that had at least 60 to 70 different kinds of dessert. That's incredible. It was the most high class thing. I definitely didn't have any uh, business being there. I was dope sick. I found a bunch of Coke on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. So Somebody you were on dropped the ground? a big ass bag of Coke and I did it all and almost it just made myself even that much sicker. Oh my God. Yeah. It was crazy. It was Jesus fucking. Christ. And there was a balcony that you can go out onto, like, and you're like 60 stories up, and people are just partying. Dude, wow. I always want to pee off balconies. I'd be scared to pee off a balcony. That your piss just turns into like vapor yeah. at that point. Your your piss stream isn't making it all the way down. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, you're like unwittingly pissing down vapor. Imagine, your, your piss yeah. turns to pretty much like a cloud. You imagine getting vertigo that high up, just like trying to piss and you're swaying and yeah. Ugh. Oh God! Imagine looking up and seeing a yellow cloud in the sky <laughs> yeah. and just knowing it was all piss, yeah. chum piss. <laughs> Ugh. You know that there's other planets out there where that's probably a thing. P clouds. P yeah. clouds. Yeah. Yeah. That's the multiverse. Or just like <laughs> that's yeah, how it works. Just right? like uh, like a uh, ammonia cloud. Yeah. yeah. There's definitely shit like that. <laughs> they were saying that there's cloud like clouds on Venus are made of like crazy ass like shit like ammonia and phosphorus and it rains like fucking like ammonia. Yeah, it's very weird. It's fucking wild. Yeah. Oh so I got the book inside this shit. It's a very clean it. planet. Yeah. You just fucking yeah, yeah you go in <laughs> you go into the fucking onto the surface, you just die. <laughs> it was like two hundred and thirty six degrees all the time. Did you know but, Venus's day? Is longer than its year. Yeah, that's wild. Really? Yeah. It like rotates you... so slowly that it rotates around the sun <clears throat> faster. Wow. You, yeah. Star talk. You get off on, on the planet. It's like, oh, it smells like cat piss, and you die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The fucking sun won't set for years. <laughs> it smells like cat piss. <laughs> Worst planet ever. <laughs> <laughs> that is what cat piss smells like, isn't it? Yeah, this is very, there's a lot of ammonia. And then it's in the sun forever, so it just bakes. Cat oh. piss in the sun. <laughs> Yo, tell us about your project that you've been releasing songs off of. So I've been working on <clears throat> my album Drive, and I just released the first four songs, technically eight, because I put out the instrumentals too. Mm -hmm. So Drive is like my first real project in six years. Nice. Yeah, because I just kind of not took a hiatus, but I've been working on... You know, Eric's stuff and enemy stuff, and then, you know, those guys are kind of... Recording. Yeah. The last one you did was uh, Bourbon for Breakfast, right? Yeah, well, it was called Bedlam and Squalor in okay. 2011, which Bourbon for Breakfast was on. Okay. Um, but yeah, this one has four tracks. I got Breaking Habits, uh, A Reason for Dissonance, Style Over Substance, and what is the last one? I can't believe I'm forgetting my own song. <laughs> I saw the picture of it. <laughs> I forget. Oh, uh, it's called um, Top Shelf with Eric Lamb. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's pretty dope. I'm happy about it. Which one are you gonna drop in in between? Probably top shelf. Okay. Because cool. it's got Eric Lamb on it. Cool. Because it's See, you're dope. not s greedy. You got four songs out. One of them has a guest, and yep. that's the one you're gonna put out. Yep. That's what a good rapper does. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, thank you. I wouldn't put it out if, <laughs> if he wasn't better than me. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite thing is that every every guest track I've ever done, the other guy's been better than me. So it's like, if that makes any sense, like, yeah, I, I know I what like, you mean. I I don't want to do a feature with somebody I'm better than. I want somebody better than me, just so I can like have to rap when harder. I'm, when I'm asked to be on like a posse track, I ask to hear everyone's verses first. Yeah. So I know that I'll make mine better. <laughs> you know. What oh, I mean? so you do the L O L L four three two one thing. Yeah, uh, I'll ask whoever's yeah. recording to be like, "Yo, let me hear, it. let me hear it with the with the verses yeah. on it," and then I just. 
write a song and till it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do that all the time. Yo, Eric Lamb has the has the best uh, Instagram handle right now. He what really is does. It called? Asian boy MP4. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, he changed it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I saw it the other day. Yeah. What a. Sick he had fucker. M Jody Rail on Twitter forever. <laughs> yeah, he did. Did she buy it from him? No, no. I no. think he got it right as she was leaving. So it wasn't as relevant, <laughs> but he had uh, M Jody Rail on Twitter. I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to start buying up URLs of different <laughs> shit. So when the company finally hits, like somebody's got to pay me for dogdicks.com and <laughs> shit like that. Well, they've got everything now. The top level domain, you could do dogdicks.com XXX. <laughs> like, yeah. It's just everything. Dogdicks.net. <laughs> dot, dot edu. I'm going to see if that's taken. Please look it up. Yeah, right now. You're going to use GoDaddy? Yeah. Or just no, just open your browser and go to dogdicks.com and see what happens. Hold on. I want to know what happens when you type in D. I want to see the first thing that comes into your browser. Oh, you want to? No, I'm just kidding. Dog the Bounty Hunter. Oh, that's how you judge somebody. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, tell you the, I'll tell you the first three things it's Dog the Bounty Hunter, Dog Catcher Line Dance, and Dog Gore. What the fuck is a Dog Catcher Line Dance? I don't want to know. It's a it, is it a bunch of dog catchers like pound workers? <laughs> They're all like doing like a fucking river dance. Dancing. So is there a dogdicks.com or what? There has to be. It says dogdicks.com is for sale. Oh, so nobody has it. Yeah. And um well, you've been saving up, so Yo, hold on. Buy now for fourteen hundred dollars and ninety for four. somebody owns it. And they're trying to sell on. dog dicks dot one thousand four hundred ninety five dollars. Dude, so many That's a lot of idea. Or finance this domain <laughs> for twelve payments of one hundred and twenty five dollars. Wow. That seems like the worst deal ever. That's a bad deal. Yeah, yeah. that's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, you know, that's what they say when you start to get a little bit famous. So you have to buy up all yeah. the domain names with your name in it and yeah. like just everything. That's weird. Yeah. Dude, I don't care. Like Go buy chumzilla.net. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> don't you own it? No. What do you own? Chumzilla.com. Dot com, yeah. Yeah. Dot com. I own benbreaksbread.com. Yeah. And that's really it. Watch someone get like chumzilla.com. And- Zilla. <laughs> Yo, there's a rapper out there named Zilla. Yeah. Yeah. He's down with the AOTP and shit. And there was like another rapper I saw a couple days ago. I forgot. I might have like taken a screenshot. It was definitely something Zilla, like a word in front of it. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I'm OG status. Yeah, you're you're the you're the original. Yeah. No one's ever gonna take that from you. Nope. Chum the Zilla. Never. Chum keeps wanting me to ask you about how you cook steak. What do you mean? <laughs> Why? I don't know. Because he hates it? Or er, Eric? Eric Lay was was telling me about it. Where, um, <laughs> <laughs> where like, you pretty much uh, um, salt the shit out of it or something, and then you freeze it. Oh, I dry brine it, but I don't salt the shit out of it. I do a little salt and pepper with a little bit of, um, like, oil on top. And then yeah. I put it in the freezer for 15 minutes. That's called a dry brine? Yeah. I got it from the four-hour chef. Oh, wow. I think that shit is so fucking weird. That it, is strange. Yeah, but it... it I don't know. It just, is it good? Yeah. What is a reverse sear? And I know you can answer Reverse this. sear? Yeah. I don't know what the fuck that is. Reverse sear. Reverse sear? Yeah, reverse sear cooking a steak. My friend Mike does it this. all the time. Mike Lull does it all the time. So does that mean you bake it and then up. sear it? Reverse sear... Hold on. I'll do it, and then I can uh, tell everybody how to reverse sear. <laughs> reverse sear. Yeah, I, I dry brine it. It's my favorite way to do it. Reverse sear steak. Uh, da, 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 da. How to reverse sear a steak. Yeah, that's the first one. Buzzfeed. Yeah. Buzzfeed. Arguably one of the best ways to cook a steak. Oh, it's a video. Oh, no, it's like you, there's ingredients and shit. Pat the steak dry with a paper towel and generously season all sides of the steak with salt and pepper. Transfer to a ro- wire rack on top of a baking sheet 
and bake for about 45 minutes to an hour until the internal temperature reads about 125 uh, Fahrenheit for medium rare. Adjust the bake time if you'd like your steak more rare. Heat canola oil in a plant pan over high heat until smoking. Do not use olive oil mm-hmm. as its smoke point is significantly lower than that of canola. Da, da, da. Sear the steak for one minute. Oh, okay. So you cook it in the oven to get it to like a ter- yeah. certain temperature, like not even hot. That's what I thought it and was. And then you fucking throw it in like a cast iron pan. Well, 125 is what you cook it to for if you want medium rare. Yeah. Otherwise, it, you know, internal cooks a little longer. Carry over. Pan, plate, when it plate rests. cooking, they call it. <laughs> It's called carryover. Turn carry the steak over. on its side and cook to render off any excess fat. Man. That's fucking weird, though. That's a long Fuck time to wait shit. for a steak. Well, you are a chef. Fuck that. You are a chef, so you can say how you feel Fuck about cooking shit. steak. That's a long time to wait for a steak. Dude, get that cast iron rocking. Damn right. Throw some... Uh, I like the Whatever grill. lipid you want to use. Preferably not olive oil. No. Yeah. Because it, it, it'll it burn fast. Yeah. It'll, it'll, it can give it you... It smoky. Yeah, it can give you a bitter flavor on the steak. But, like, fucking canola oil. Throw some canola oil in that fucker. If Salt I want, and pepper the fuck out of that steak and sear that shit. If I wanted to use something a little bit more high class than canola... Coconut. But, mm. like, let's say not coconut. Like, a little bit more high class than canola, but, like like, you know... But like you know, nice. Like, what could I mm-hmm. use? Safflower, peanut, <laughs> no. well, flaxseed, but that's expensive as shit. Yeah. Cotton oil, you know. What do they do? Butter. <laughs> what do they do? Um, yeah, clarified. You clarified you butter. Ghee. Yeah, yeah which is clarified butter. What do they do? Um, what do they like? Uh, do the turkeys in when they fry the turkeys? That's peanut, peanut oil. Peanut oil, yeah. No, you got to use some crazy shit because it's got to get really hot. I think well, I canola did my, does. No, I think I did mine in peanut oil a couple years yeah. ago. Yeah, peanut oil is good um, for like really hot shit. Yeah, peanut oil, can, canola oil, and uh, beef fat. Ooh, yeah. yeah. You could just buy some beef fat. Yeah, where? Um, I don't know. We get giant fucking blocks of it. It looks like styrofoam. And just throw put, it in the fucking oil while, before you put the turkey in? No, you throw it in the fryer and turn the fryer on and it renders it down and you can mm. cook with it. You ever hear those horror stories about the dudes that throw the frozen turkey in? You fucking idiots. Yeah. And it fucking explodes Dumb in asses. their face. Oh, it's so bad. You know you know what looks like turkey fryers? Douche cans. Douche cans. <laughs> douche can? Yeah. What's a douche can? You never seen a douche can? I've seen a douche bag. Yeah. I don't know why I <laughs> know this. <laughs> you want to hear something funny? This yeah. is actually really disgusting. Oh, God. <laughs> when I was younger, like, I would take a shit in my bathroom in the house I grew up in. Yeah. And right to my right was all these <laughs> drawers of my parents' <laughs> stuff. And I would just do weird shit while, oh, my, what is your face? I see your face right now. What's happening? <laughs> Let me finish my story. And then you can tell me what you found. So... I would always find like all these um, different things, and I would do weird things while on the toilet. It would yeah. take me so long. Yeah. One day I found like a razor and some shaving cream. Yeah, yo, I totally before I shit, <laughs> I totally shaved my whole balls, dick, and asshole. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> well, I'll do it. I was like 14 years old. I shaved it all off, and then another time when I was even younger than that. I reached into the drawer and there was this thing that looked like a balloon oh, or like something that you put like ice in, like to like <laughs> yeah. put on your wound. But there was like a cap on it with like a long Whoa. thing. And I pulled it out and I was blowing it up <laughs> through the small thing. That was my mother's reusable douche. Oh bag. my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I told my brother years later. <laughs> and what did it taste like? I mean, it you was can't... Just, it was clean. Like, she yeah. had obviously oh, okay. cleaned it. I didn't know what it was at the time. And I was, like, doing, like... Like, <laughs> like making it, like, blow up and shit. Like, you had an asthma attack? Yeah. yeah. I used to do weird things in my fucking... In my bathroom when I was a That's young... That's amazing. When you're a young guy, like, a 14-year-old, you don't know what's going on. Definitely, like, you know... People Jesus put things Christ. up their ass at that age to figure yeah. out what they like. Boof it or lose it. Yeah, fuck it. Boof it. Yeah. Chum put a whole VO5 uh, Pantene bottle up his butt one time while in the shower. 
Had to get it clean, man. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> What'd that- you find? So I go to Google douche can. Yeah. And the first thing that pops up is douche canoe. Douche canoe. And what is the picture for a douche canoe? I actually hate that term. I know, I've never heard it until just now. Yeah, people talk about it. He's a real douche canoe. <laughs> like, what is that? It's in Urban Dictionary. Urban Dick. Yeah. <laughs> a douche canoe. Chums over someone there. Who, someone who some sees urban. the limits of being a normal douche or douchebag. Is that under, like, the Urban Dictionary? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's just fake. They just make shit up there. Douche canoe. Yeah, I'm some, kidding. No. somebody douche said canoe. that at my work. I don't like that. But it sounds funny. I like to call people uh, douche nozzles. Douche nozzle. Douche nozzle. Uh, yeah, what's yeah. that? That's like, the nozzle in a douche can or a douche bottle. The wand, douche like the thing? Bag. Yeah. yeah. That's so the thing that goes bag up there. And the nozzle. Yeah. Women don't douche anymore. It's unhealthy. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Silence. All right. Well, we have an expert here, but she doesn't want to tell us how unhealthy it is. So. I I can't see how that would be a good thing. No, like it used to it, I guess back in the 80s everybody thought that would like refresh her, mm. but I guess it's bad to take the natural like what do they call it? Like the mucus? No. What 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 is in a vagina? Like just the natural wetness. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the slippery slimes. <laughs> slippery. Yeah, you shouldn't do it to your pussy, but I mean, yeah. it's the other hole making. <laughs> yeah, like your butt. I know. I've heard. That's of, an enema. I've heard of gay guys do. Yeah, that's an enema. It's, yeah, it's not a douche. Oh. You gotta douche your butthole so you have a nice butthole for <laughs> when you go to that orgy. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. I'm gonna ask so I can go and just sit and watch. Just watch an orgy. Yeah, find an orgy, get a fucking <laughs> couple candy bars, sit down, watch like it, a, watch it like a fucking like you're going to the movies. Like a straight person orgy or a gay orgy. Ooh. I would watch either or. Yeah. I just want to learn, <laughs> just see what's going on. I would watch an all girl orgy. Mm-hmm. I would watch an all guy orgy, and then I would watch a regular heterosexual orgy. I'd That's watch a lot of orgy. orgies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot of orgies. Yeah. Watch. I've watched a lot of orgy porn. Well, it's always European. You don't see a <laughs> no. bunch of American people fucking. They're always oh, oh, oh. It's just like a bunch of Eastern European, like German guys. Oh, like people are making like crazy noises, and, like it's painful. I used to watch this series called Big Bubble Butt Brazilian Orgy. Wow. See, I would watch that because it yeah. sounds appealing. Yeah, it, it's it the is. alliteration, I think. <laughs> That's a classic classic porn series. I used to live with a guy, and I'm not going to say his name because I actually don't like him, but I will tell you about <laughs> I found a volume of 10 different um, DVDs in his closet, in his closet one closet. time, <laughs> and they were called Throat Gaggers, and uh, he had one through 10. Now we're wow. talking. Yeah. <laughs> Throat Gaggers. Wait, so... Is that like an emphasis on the penises or? Yeah, it was just like a bunch of dudes like face fucking girls until like they gag and like yeah. throw yeah. up and shit. People when, like looking at that. When vomit gets involved, I don't want to yeah, watch it. That sounds gross. Yeah, I don't want to watch it. I don't. I enjoy the gagging, but the barfing not so much. Oh, yeah, don't barf. <laughs> don't barf. <laughs> One of my friends uh, sent me a video to our group chat the other day. You ever see that video of the girl eating the um, Fruit Loops out of the other girl's ass? <laughs> Jesus Christ. No. I'll send a it butt to you. No, I <laughs> well, don't she's want like to. laying on her back with her butt like straight up. And, uh, you, what are those like? Was she just like fucking firing them out? <laughs> no, you, you know those uh you know those things that like it's like an actual like um like surgery tool that like you put in and you oh, crank yeah. it and it opens it up. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 What are they like a clamp thing? Yeah. It's like a reverse clamp thing. Yeah. 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 And they fill her butthole <laughs> with, um, fruit, fruit loops, loops. Yeah. and then they pour milk in there and another girl starts eating it. And then they like take the clamp out and this guy's like fucking the girl's butt. And every time he's going in and out, like a green fruit loop will like fly out oh of my her God. butt. Oh my yeah. God. It was one of the worst things I've ever I saw. I don't want to see that. I'm glad I saw it. Cause now I can say I saw it, but like you imagine. You can't unsee that. Yeah. Though. Imagine like being that guy or that girl. I don't want to see that. I don't want milk on my penis. 
That's pretty gross. No. I don't want anything on my no. penis. That's yeah. a thing, like the milk thing and porn. It's gross. Like but they pour milk up girls' butts and they like fart it out. Yeah, it's gross. Yeah. Yo, you ever make the mistake wow. of like touching like the outside of like a pepper and then yes. touching your penis? Yep. No. Done yeah. it. No. Learned the hard way. Of all the food stuff that I that I do, no. I've learned the hard way. I, I was handling. I don't know why. Oh yeah, I, I was at. I've Mi- rubbed my eye before. I was at Mitch's Ugh. house. Yeah, I did that. I, I was at Mitch's worse. house. I touched a bunch of fucking. Durga hot pot and fucking ghost peppers because he had them out on his fucking thing. And then yeah. I went upstairs to pee and I grabbed my penis to pee and <laughs> it was horrible. Yeah. Horrible. I, nope. Done it. Not too long ago. Oh my God. So you know how I felt. Yep. How am I the and one actually, that does the most food stuff and I've never done that? I don't know. I spent about two days talking to Eric Lamb about how, how mean, you're properly supposed to handle a hot pepper because of that. I Why? work with a I lot of hot peppers too. Do it. No. Just try it. Just no. try it. Why not? Take the actual pepper and rub it up and down your <laughs> no. cock like, like a piece of soap or something. <laughs> a little loofah. <laughs> a little Jalop loofah. A little loofy. <laughs> I like my I like my penis too much to do that to it. We've had several um, <laughs> talks about your penis on this podcast, <laughs> and I got I've never seen your dick, but me and Megan. And when Dave used to do the podcast with me, we all think that your penis would be the equivalent to a soda can. <laughs> Length and thickness. She's over there nodding yes. <laughs> so we've got confirmation. Wow. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. I got a fat dinger. <laughs> I just sent um I'm in a I'm in a group chat with a bunch of my uh like hardcore buddies. Yeah. And I they're all talking one of them asked me a question about a restaurant, so I just sent them a picture of you two, like like I'm doing a podcast, and they yeah. go, how do we organize this group text into an episode of your podcast? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm just going to get eight dudes up here. We could just have a party. You could. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Dude, I should get like Put a Put some t- room mics dude, up. Get a TV up here, get some there's more chairs, right start watching fucking like pay-per-view UFC fights and shit. There yep. you go. Yeah. Well, he's got a TV. It's about 30 years old, but yeah. it's there. It's a total tube TV. Yeah. Yo, my friend had that TV in his room in high school. And those buttons on top of it? Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, this is my new spot, and this I really dope, like it. Though. I really like it. Get some cameras up here now. That's the next thing. Once I get yep. the mics that I want and I get the setup solid, I'm going to get two two gopros yeah one going this way the gas mm-hmm. one coming that way but that's like you got to figure that's a lot of editing yeah yeah but i know that they sell programs where like you could set those two mics up to a something to trip yep the thing yep and it will go with like the mm-hmm. signal <laughs> oh, we can drive but that the thing, thing is like if i'm talking and then you, we're both talking together it might get all weird so i'd yeah. have to wait for you guys to stop talking right. then yeah. i talk but that's where like a whole and like an engineer comes that's in. yeah you, you would want I mean? an engineer yeah. that just controls the the mic interface and, yeah or i mean the way you got it here you just need two yeah you know and and that one facing you and one facing your guests, you know, like they do on the it's, breakfast you, club. And the thing is, like, I don't even have to be talking for no. the mic to for the camera to be on you guys. Yeah. Like, we just like, you mm-hmm. know, when you're talking at length, it will be on you, mm-hmm. and then it just yep. goes back and forth. I brought mine just in case you wanted to fuck with it. The GoPro, yeah. Oh man, oh yeah. I need to get one. They're super cheap now. They're mad yeah. cheap. Well, I fuck. think three fifty I paid for mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's like all level, like a bunch of different levels yeah. that you can get. You can get some crazy shit. Yep. Imagine I just had two drones. <laughs> <laughs> you just couldn't hear the mics. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> Casey Neistat, dude, that'd be so sick. Drone That's podcast. Funny. That's why there's no sound on drones. It's always <laughs> like music playing in the background. Yeah, yeah. because you wouldn't be yeah. able to fucking can hear, hear anything. Well, Shane, Shane was doing a lot of those drone videos. Yeah. yeah, he stopped doing hip hop videos to fucking do, do drone make, drone videos over of Iceland Ireland. and yeah. do fucking uh, weddings and one apathy video. Yeah, yeah. So that was like the last thing he did. That was yeah. the last hip hop video he did. He did mine and then he did, did his, and that was it. I thought he did another one. Oh, for ill. Yeah, with that poison pen song. Yeah, hmm. I don't know. 
All I know farts. is he's definitely probably in a fucking gorge somewhere. That's awesome. In Iceland, like flying his drone close to <laughs> lava. Yeah. That's what he's doing for a living, right? I mean, he's making can't, money. Can't ask. He's making money off yeah. of it. So it's a better deal than anything. Well, you figure if you're doing high end wedding photography, yeah. You're probably you're getting, making you're a good amount of money. You're getting some bread. Yeah, you're making a good amount of money. Yeah. And the thing is, like, he's from an area where people are having weddings that are expensive. Like, he's from down in, like, the Gold Coast, like, Greenwich area, right? Does mm-hmm. he live down there? No, he lives in New Haven. But you got to figure, like, all those... Maybe, it's easy enough access. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in the wrong fucking business. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine I just gave up everything to be a wedding photographer. <laughs> I, I live like in the in the cheap rich area, like in that with Mystic. Oh yeah, right. Those guys are paid, but they're fucking cheap. We're just about at an hour. I, this went yeah. right really fast. Yeah, it did. We didn't really talk about anything. No, we nope. just didn't. fucking bullshitted. No, I got nope. the plug for a minute. Yeah. What are you? You got you? You know, me and you got nothing doing. I put a new album out like a month ago. Yeah, well, you already talked about it. Yeah. I, I've already told people about it's it. It's yeah. the dope. Just tell them again if anybody didn't know. I released a new album like a month ago. <laughs> tell them where they can get it. You can get it at chumzilla.com or mine and Ben's venture, rawbarrecords.com. Mm-hmm. Yep. I should have something out hopefully by Christmas. Hopefully. A little uh, four song EP. Yep. With some uh, album art done by our good friend Black. Ass Stan. Yeah. Speaking of Blackest Stan, what is you need doing? that motherfucker on this podcast? He's too crazy. No, it's perfect. Is he? Yeah. He'd be my first black guest. I need him. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I need to get a. I need to get a black person on here so people oh don't God. think I'm fucking racist. <laughs> I've had one woman. Yeah. And the rest have been a bunch of fucking white guys. Yeah. Blackistan, if you're listening, please come and be black on my podcast. <laughs> I uh, When I went to that mouth thing the other night, uh, this fucking adorable lady came up. She was from, um, she came here years ago from Jamaica, and they call her the tree lady, and she's from Hartford, and she's got to like, she, she, she works in a lot of different stuff, but she works with a lot of like the, the parks and stuff. And she told a story. She told her ten minute story, and she was the last one because she's like famous for storytelling. And her story was so fucking awesome. This lady is probably like sixty years old. She's about four foot tall, Jamaican lady. <laughs> Dude, I fucking grabbed her and I gave her my email. I made her give me her email. And she's coming on the podcast. That's dope. There you go. Yeah. That'll be your first clean podcast. Yeah, it'll be. I'll have to <laughs> definitely be clean. Yeah, it should be fun. <laughs> I'm actually gonna hit up. I'll. I'm gonna text Black right now. Yeah, do it. Yeah, dude, he was fucking gold on our radio show. He's a maniac. Yeah, like I don't like, dude. He would be now that I think of did it, it. Did I ever tell you about the steamy poop thing? No. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> dude. All right. There was some something came up on the show about uh, Cleveland Steamer. I've definitely heard this, and and Blackistan did, did, doesn't didn't know what that was, so we had to devise a way to tell him what it was on air, without saying swearing, yeah, without saying, or like breaking an indecency law, yeah, like, oh, right, like yeah, the thing. And Chris Sampson was the program director at the time at uh, WHUS, yeah, and he was part of our show, so we had like leeway of things that we could do but at the same time he kind of like monitored us because we were the assholes we were the ones that really yeah you know they used to get letters about us so uh i'm trying to find a way to say you shit on a girl's chest and p- piss it off <laughs> <laughs> right? i didn't know that part on the air yeah that's what i didn't know the pit comes from oh yeah they, well i just thought it was just a hot mm. poop no, the right. uh, actual Cleveland steamer is you defecate on a woman's chest, stand up, and then pee and make the, <laughs> the shit slide off to one side. Wow. Hey, you learn something new every day. I yeah. did not know that part. Yep. So I'm trying to explain it to him. Then I, it finally hits me. I'm like, dude, Biggie talks about it at the end of I Got a Story to Tell. Yeah. And he just, blackest Stan goes, oh, so you take a steamy poop on her chest. <laughs> Censored himself. <laughs> No, like he just said that, and like, what did the engineer do? Hit the well, button? 
Well, he, he was like, <laughs> yeah, whoa, you can't say that. You can't say that. He goes, what, steamy poop? He's like, no, you can say steamy poop. He goes, but I can't say I took a steamy poop on her chest. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, yeah, you can't say that. But I can say steamy poop. And he this went on for 10 minutes of blackest and is <laughs> constantly saying steamy poop on air. I can't I can't even envision that. But like it ended up he couldn't say you can't say I took a steamy poop. Can you say I defecated on the female's chest area <laughs> and then urinated <laughs> to make it slide off? No, it's still indecent. Really? Yeah, that sounds yeah. indecent. Yeah. Oh man. What kind of yeah. world? What kind of world are we living in? Aren't where you, you glad you, you know, got a podcast? You, you don't have censored. to worry about that shit. You know, the funniest right? thing was on that show. I was the one with all the radio experience because I worked in commercial radio. I was the one that swore the most on the show. I believe that. I broke the most rules. I got in trouble for swearing on the radio once in Albany. <laughs> yeah. I just like it's hard. I, when I did that NPR interview, I was so terrified that I was going to accidentally swear because it was live. Yeah. But I didn't. I just kept saying, "You know what I mean." You know what I mean. <laughs> At the end of every sentence, you know, you know what I mean. And everybody for like two weeks just kept saying, "Hey, you know what I mean." Oh, that's funny. The only time I was on the radio was with Eric Lamb, and we just put out one of his albums, and we had like a ten minute spot on. I think it's Dot Ames or whatever, whatever. It oh, was. geez. And yeah. I'm like, yo. I'm just not gonna say anything because I cannot stop fucking swearing. Like I'm just gonna go, yeah, that's that's right. I'm Scoby, and like that's all I said on the whole thing. Yeah, like because I'm just like I can't, I can't not swear. I tried to like either last year or the year before, I tried to make like a New Year's resolution of like not swearing. Yeah, it just mm-hmm. didn't stick. No. What that's... are you, an enemy album? What he doesn't have any swear. No swears. No. You even guests can't have swears. Why? It's Is just, he religious? His, no, no. That's just his, like, thing. <laughs> like he's, I think he might be a little religious, but... Oh, no. No, but I don't... It's not that reason. Like, early on, he became, like, one of the local papers were, like, toting him as, like, the clean rapper, like, cleaning up hip-hop so he or, had, or something along those lines. So he had to stay with and it. And he, he stuck with it for a long time. I think he's turning around on this latest album he's working on right yeah. now, but... Yeah, he swears on this Did he on say this shit? <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I performed the new song with him, and he says shit in the oh, song. He does say shit in that song. Oh my okay. god! Yeah, yeah, the last one he? was. He's pushing. What it. a monster! He's pushing. <laughs> there was there was a song with him and Joey Bats that I produced on his last album, and I had to like reverse Joey swearing, like he sweared once on it, and it was like yeah. shit. And you had to be like, and yeah, like, and I had to turn cut, it around, well, cut it, flip it, and it was like, you know, and yeah, <laughs> but yeah. it fit with the song because the drums were kind of reversed too. So I don't think a lot of people heard that part, but like, yeah, there was one swear like that I reversed in it. But we should just start telling Joey Bats jokes right now, so when he hears it, he'll be sad. <laughs> <laughs> J.K. Joe, J.K. <laughs> Uh, I do have an Uzu Crew T-shirt. Oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah. do I. Yeah. I wore. I actually wore it somewhere. I forget. And he was like, "Cool shirt." Or like commented Th- some outside. Some eating thing you did. Oh yeah, I wore it while yeah. I did that fucking uh, the hot dog eating contest. Yeah. <laughs> no, the ravioli eating contest. I did. I did not do good. The Dude, winner these in things- five minutes did forty. Jesus. Guess how many I got in five minutes? Seven. Two. Thirteen. Wow. They were big ones too, yeah. and they were cold. Oh, what oh the fuck? see, yeah, yeah, dude. The dinger eating contest. You should have hollered at me, man. What's a dinger? Dinger yeah. hot dogs. Oh, dude, let me know. You, but that was you had to feed them to your hold, partner. Hold on, ben. oh really? Who the fuck calls a hot dog a dinger? Yeah, what is a dinger? What the fuck, chum? <laughs> I've never heard somebody call a hot dog a is dinger. Is that a restaurant term? No, that's what you call them. <laughs> one, of my, one of my friends says it all the time. and I, I, I You know when nev- you hang out with people and like, they say things a lot? Yeah. yeah. And it rubs off on you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what's happening. Put my dinger on a bun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's also, it also refers to penis. Dinger? dinger. Yeah. I've never dinger. heard that. A dinger for me is like... It's a real chum dinger. Uh, yeah, you're... No, like a, like, a, like a dinger for me would be like a... Like a dinger, or like a, like getting hit. Yeah, yeah. Like okay. When you punch yeah. somebody. Sure. Like, I'm a real dinger. <laughs> Sounds like something my dad would say. It's a multi. <laughs> it's a multi-purpose word. What the fuck? I've dinger. never heard that. I'm freaking Please. out right now. No, now we need to find like a local farm mm. that, with pork and beef to, to like, make dingers. M- make us an actual like that's your thing. A real like, chum dinger. Chums dinger. Chums. Yeah. Chum dinger. Chum dinger. Yeah. Dude. 
The I've never, ever, 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 ever heard anyone call him a dinger. You ever? Mix- I was like, is that Rhode Island? Like, what the fuck is yeah, that? Yeah, that sounds like a ro- no. fucking Rhode Island well, they term. Call something oh my else god, stupid! Like hot links or something. Hot links. I don't know. I forget what they they really have like a a, a name, totally different a name. totally yeah. different name for hot yeah, dogs. Do. And I'm just like, <laughs> what the fuck is that? Have you ever made like cased any sausage? Like put it in a casing? Yeah. How hard is that? It's like jerking off a of poop. Yeah. Ooh, a sli- yeah, like a long slick poop. <laughs> yeah, and then you got to like twist it to make the next one. Yeah, you do that at engine room. Yeah, I've done it before. I haven't done it in a while. You should do. We that. got a new butcher shop where that goes down at though. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. What the fuck is this new? Yeah, Gra- grass and bone. Grass and bone. Grass and bone. They're coming mm-hmm. up here to do uh, something for story and soils. Mm-hmm. The coffee shop's grand opening. Yeah, dude, it's dope. I had a sandwich from there the other day. Or no, no, I'm sorry. Iron and Grain mm-hmm. is doing that. But Grass and Bone is coming up here for something. I can't remember what it was. I know they're coming up here. I got to check it, though. Mm-hmm. I got to check it because it looks cool. Hmm. I haven't been to the butcher shop yet, though. So I've kind been of been. I've, I've kind of been being a real cunt lately. Like, um, if you're opening a restaurant lately, lately and I know about, like, I know it's going to open and, you know, you don't. Don't ask. You don't give me a. A personal invite <laughs> to your friends and family or a soft opening night. I'm gonna take it personally. Yeah, and I'm not gonna say who these people are because there's a couple of them out there. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when we ate at the fucking treehouse? How yeah. angry I got at that fucking girl. Oh, she was a horrible server. Oh my god, we waited so long to sit. Then she sat us like yeah. at the thing, and then we were done. And she just kept walking past us. Yeah. I don't care how yeah. big your boobs are, and I don't care how long your yeah, butt right? cheeks are sticking out of your Daisy Dukes. I don't fucking care. Don't make me wait. Oh, it was all out there. Don't make me wait. Yeah. Where where was this place? Uh, Treehouse. Tree house. At a Oyster like, Club. It's like oh, the, oh, it's behind the yeah, Oyster, yeah, Oyster yeah. Club, like up in the rocks. It's like uh-huh. it's actually ingenious. It's really cool. It's dope. Like it's outside a dope spot. dining spot. Mm-hmm. I got a, a a scallop roll. I got like a hot dog made of scallops. Is this the place <laughs> yeah. that left out your salad? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. She even ring it in. Yeah. We were me. We, that, that's right. Because we were like <laughs> waiting for the salad to come. <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, this fucking girl didn't even put the salad in. Yeah. Fucking. Motherfucker, <laughs> a lot of good, a lot of new good restaurants opening up. Yeah, a lot of new restaurants. Me and Meg are going to Portland in two weeks to see Tom Segura. Mm-hmm. Oh shit! And um, on the way up, we I just got invited to go back to Bambara by my friend David, and we're gonna go eat there, and they and that's in a hotel. So he's going to get us a nice uh, rate on a room, and then we're going to wake up the next morning and then make it all the way to Portland. And I know there's a million new restaurants that have opened up. Like I went mm-hmm. like two years ago, mm. and we're just going to eat, go to Tom Segura, wake up in the morning, go to fucking breakfast and That's leave. Dope. It's going to be so fun. Last time I went was October. It was a little cold up there because it's totally different. Yeah, it's like yeah. definitely colder up there than it is now. But, uh, yeah, I can't wait. How soon are you going to that? 28th. 28th. 27th. Whatever weekend that is, that Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's dope. Going to South Carolina soon. Dude, go stop in um, Boone. And mm-hmm. uh, what's the other town that's, oh, no, Asheville, North Carolina has, oh, co- dude, go to Columbia. Columbia is fucking drowning in insane restaurants. Yeah. So sick. Conway's so, dope. Go to Husk. Conway. Con- Con- yeah, Conway. Conway is good. Yeah, yeah. There's all kinds of shit there, dude. There's I saw uh, I forget one of the dudes on Chef's Table opened up a restaurant in hmm. Columbia, and it's like one of the fucking coolest restaurants. I think I know what you're talking about. I think it's that restaurant Husk, right? I think so. Yeah, I got to go back on it. Yeah, when are you going? Uh, beginning of October, I think. Nice. I'm going to Manhattan next weekend. Where are you eating? Mm-hmm. I don't know. That's why I'm going to ask you. I'm going because I'm going for a beat camp, is what they call it, right? Yeah. So it's like a three day like seminar for producers. Uh-huh. There's a bunch of like A and R's and shit going to be there. Yeah. So hopefully, maybe they'll want to use my beats. Who knows? But like, I don't know where to fucking eat. Like, I'm staying with my homie in Bed Stuy, and then I'm going to take the subway to Manhattan. Bodega's like a motherfucker. Yeah. So 
If you're so you're gonna be in Brooklyn. Well, I'm yeah, I'm sleeping in Brooklyn at his house. Yeah, but then you want to eat somewhere in the actual Manhattan. I, yeah, because I think it's like you know, it's like right in Midtown Manhattan or whatever. Go right in. There, I can give you a list. Buco Alimentari is an awesome like Italian restaurant. If yeah. you want to go there, my friend Nick used to work there. Dude, you should just say fuck the world. <laughs> go alone. I to, am going alone. Go to Eleven Madison Park. Ooh. And it spend like eleven hundred dollars on a meal by yourself and just yeah, right. give the finger to the fucking world. There's just people proposing to their fiancés all around you, and you're just in a trash just, jacket, just be eating like a yeah. fucking poached lobster in yeah. front of everybody. Like fuck you. I want to do that, dude. I want to go there definitely once. But like, yeah. I, it's like the ele- I think last year it was ranked the eleventh restaurant in the world. Really, and that's I'm, really high. I'm what almost happen, positive my brother's been there. So it's what would so happen sick. if I went there, like by myself to eat? Like I walk in, I look like I'm like dressed normal. Then right when my meal starts, I just take my shirt off. That would kick you out. But I have yeah. wife beater uh-huh. on. Uh, I don't know. Mm. They might run over with like a suit jacket and like put it over you. But I just start shoveling food <laughs> like a savage. <laughs> don't touch me. <laughs> dude, there's all kinds of good shit, dude. There's yeah. like, so many good places in New York. If you like uh, one of the best Thai restaurants I've ever been to is called um, Uncle Boone's. Ooh. And it's like, yeah, I've heard of that. it's so good. And it's not like any other Thai restaurant you've been to. It's like everything on the menu is good. Everything. It's like, it's like high end tie. Mm. Yeah. When um, when App lived in Brooklyn, we used to go to C in, C in Williamsburg. I've heard of that too. Yeah. Yeah. Last I time I went there not too long ago and um now they have DJs in there playing crappy house music whoa. while you're eating. If you let me know like the address where you're staying or the where the address of the uh, seminar is, yeah. I'll I'll break it down even smaller yeah, I'll for look. you. Like whatever, you can take a Uber rub wherever you really want to go, but yeah. like if you want like something crazy. Well, I know one night it's on like 42nd Street. I think it's in different places. Oh, like, cool. Yeah. So So um my friend Jake Blake, he's like a like a career artist. Mm. He does like crazy like paintings. And I have another friend uh Eric that lives out in LA and he makes like high end leather luggage bags. Whoa. Like I'm talking like thousands of dollars. And I was looking on Instagram one day and they were right behind each other in a feed. And yeah. I was like, these two dudes need to know each other. And I made like a group text or a group like a DM with both of them. Yeah. And I was like, Hey guys, I just think you should know about each other. Cause you're both doing like some awesome shit. Next thing I know, they have a company. Oh shit! Yeah, called <laughs> Active Guilt, and it's like home, like home goods, like pretty much take mm-hmm. like a high end artist mm-hmm. and a high end leather worker, yep. and they're doing all this like crazy shit that you'd see in like rich people's houses. Yep. That's dope. So Eric's coming to the city to like work with him for a couple weeks, and I we're all gonna go to dinner. Like I introduced them, and we're gonna go to this place called Contra. Have you ever heard of Contra? Yeah, up, up, down, down. <laughs> no, no, not that contra. Dude, no. this is like art, like art food, like weird, like yeah. crazy like shit though. comes out and it looks crazy. So Plating with tweezers? Yeah, definitely. There's definite tweezer work uh, going on in that kitchen. I know. You're you're a you're a grub man. I'm a rustic you, you, guy. You like to get your hands dirty. I yeah. Know. You yeah. are a connector. I am, yeah. Did did you, have you read Malcolm Gladwell's tipping point or um I forget what the other one is? Anyways, he talks about how there's like a couple of different types of people, mm-hmm. and what connector is one of them who finds like people to connect. Like I like that's that so term, fucking cool. But you know what I hate? What's that? Matchmaker. Matchmaker. Yeah, that's oh, stupid. That you stinks. ever get that fucking girl? Oh, these two should be together, and they fucking introduce each other, and then you fucking they hate each other. I hate when somebody. When I was <laughs> one younger, of my I best, one of my best friends is one of those. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, if it works, it's cool. But yeah. you know that that fucking. Doing that doesn't usually work. No. Like, I'll introduce friends that mm-hmm. I think will be awesome. But, like, as far as, like, people for relationships, yeah, yeah, that's I don't. Weird. Because if then it fucking something goes awry, that's you're your the one to blame. Yeah, now you lost two friends. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Now no one wants to <laughs> fucking talk to you. Yeah. yeah. Fuck that. Somebody was a matchmaker. No. No, I met Meg by myself. You know who was the matchmaker between Meg? Me, me and Meg? Tinder. That, Tinder. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I met my wife on MySpace. Holy fuck. Yeah, how about wow. that? How about I date that? Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. That's MySpace. Well, yeah, my, my gay friend, 
he like had me as his top like ten. You know, like <laughs> you remember saw, how you had the top ten? She yeah, saw she you. saw she was hanging out with him one night. She's like, Who's that? And remember? I'm like, Yeah, remember? boy. Were, were, you, were you making that face you make in every picture? Yes, I had it. Yes. No, no, this was before I was fucking rap superstar. Oh, the, the the I was in New York City with <laughs> Enemy and my friend Brian and like we were just standing there. We were looking tough, but I wasn't doing the face <laughs> scratch thing, you know? Yeah. Remember yeah. when people how offended people would be yes. if you took them out of their yep. your top 10 and then they made a top 18 or something like that. Yeah, they yeah. moved it up so yeah. people wouldn't get bored. Uh, dude, I remember back in the day when the days of MySpace when I was so fucking high. And just using dope every day. And one day, I went to Brass City Tattoo, and they had a computer in the back room. And me and Chauncey would always hijack it <laughs> and check our MySpaces. And I remember one day, dude, I sent Necro so many messages. One day, I was just high out of my mind, telling him to come play a show in Connecticut. And at one point, he told me to stop messaging him because I was acting <laughs> acting like a female. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> but he wouldn't know it was me today because back then my name on MySpace was Tito Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's one thing I learned from your your uh, podcast yeah, the, with no, Timmy. Timmy. I, I did not know that. Yeah, dude. I Tito, did not know T- that. Yo, I, I have um, Skelsky sent me a uh, sheen. He sent me like uh, in the mail. He sent me a small little flash drive. And there is 136 Misery Crew songs on there. Jeez. Holy shit! From when we just we used to just record songs all day. Wow! And all like I have like eight good ones on there, yeah. and it's just rapping under the name Tito Jackson. You gotta put those out, <laughs> dude. They we are gotta put them out. Horrible. We gotta put they them out. They are horrible. Horrible. I was hardcore rep for Misery Crew, man. Dude, I we we made a song once. I'll try to find it. I have them all in my iTunes. Uh, where we were like, you know, when you get like a bunch of guys on a track and you try to make like a theme mm-hmm. or tell like a story, oh, we definitely God. told a story about like it was like some espionage spy oh, shit. shit. Yeah, yeah, and it was at the time <laughs> I thought it was the coolest thing, but like now you think back on it and you're just like, oh my God. But I'll listen to some other guys' songs and be like, yo, that shit was so good. Like Peruvian Coke. Yeah, the te- Immortal Techniques joint. Oh yeah, how old is that? It's fucking old. Yeah. yeah, it's like there's like songs that Cage has on YouTube before he mm-hmm. put anything out, and he definitely had a song where, dude, he was just ripping, losing it, going crazy, and in every chorus he would just go, "15 years old." <laughs> in the yeah. chorus but then you get right back to rapping and start what rapping the fuck? and they're like you can't find them like they're like he unreleased things he showed them to me years ago <laughs> I'd like to get him on the podcast but he lives in LA now I haven't spoke to him in like a year or so he was supposed to do a verse for me yeah you kind of didn't speak to him <laughs> he did all the talking yeah oh yeah dude yeah. I would have phone conversations with Cage. He would just call me, like, out of the blue. And he's definitely the kind of guy that you could, like, start the conversation with. I could put my phone down, leave, go into my house, take a shit, come back, and he'd still be talking and think you were there. And then I would just be like, yeah. That's amazing. Or just be like, all you got to do is be like, yeah. Oh, shit, really? Yeah? Oh, man, that sounds crazy. Yeah. Yo, and he would just go and talk about anything, everything. I definitely know people that have he's that he's kept people on the phone for six hours. That's incredible. That's yeah. amazing. It's insane. Totally insane. <laughs> well, on that note. On that note. Remember when speaking rem- rem- <laughs> well, wasn't, it, wasn't it copyright that hit him with a newspaper yeah, in that video? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, cut. he just recently played a show somewhere. In Connecticut, yeah, it was like a weird, some weird. I forget. It's in the Struggle Rappers' uh, Facebook page. Oh my god, I love that page. Why does what's his name want to give up being the admin? He's trying to clean up his act. I think. Who old self? Yeah. No, well, he's, he's a not. teacher now. I think Is he's he? yeah, yeah yeah. He's a legit teacher. I think he's trying not to like have associations that are gonna 
Like, that's just my opinion. I'm not, I, well, say, I'm not speaking though, for him. There's only saying. 50 of us in that group. I know. And all we do is make fun of the rappers that aren't in the group. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so good, dude. It's so good. And no one's like posting anything. I got so mad at him because I posted a link to the podcast with Apathy. Yeah. And he yeah. took it down. And I texted App and I was like, yo, what the fuck? And he's like, Oh, he's like, I just think he really wants it to be like a roast page. He doesn't want anybody like promoting their yeah, rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he just wants everybody to make fun yeah. of everybody. Did you see when um when we were doing that string of shows up in Vermont and New Hampshire and Maine? Mm-hmm. Um, when Enemy <laughs> yes. posted that picture yes. of me, did where he I, take it down? Where I got the stand on my shirt? No. Then I'm changing my shirt in the parking lot, and like I'm shirtless in a parking lot, <laughs> <laughs> and like <laughs> and like Enemy said something like. Oh, when Chum gets a ketchup stain on his shirt, Bigfoot sighting start in Vermont Jesus or something. God. No. <laughs> he, he That's po- wonderful. I told him to post it. And then, like, um, Old Self took it down because he thought it was, like, a like yeah, it, tasteless. It, like, it oh, didn't fit in the regular curriculum of that, that yeah. fucking Facebook page. I'm That's like, funny. dude, why did you do that? Dude. I wish he would make more music. Yeah. Who's that? Old self. old self. Oh yeah, me too. Mm-hmm. Oh dude, Mister hit me up the other day and he asked yeah. me for like a recommendation of a restaurant to take his girlfriend to. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I told him to go to Roya in New Haven. It's really nice, right? And yeah. He's like, he doesn't eat like we do, but no. like he wanted mm-hmm. to like bring his girl. And that shit, that food is like, you yeah. can get some crazy shit, or you can just they have a burger and shit there. I was yeah. like, yo, you can go here and get like. The whole gamut, like you can get crazy shit or like basic shit. And he posted a picture today. He had like a like a little button I just up saw on that. with oh, his shit. girl, and he like thanked me. He was like, "Thanks yeah. for the recommendation." That's dope. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. It's a pretty good restaurant, man. I went yeah. there and I was gonna write a review, but I think I fucking the pictures came out like fucked up, so I got to go back. But that was a really good restaurant. You, you know what made me sad about your restaurant reviews? What? You stop saying fuck my ass. Fuck my ass. Well, I got to a point where I knew that there was more than my maniac friends like reading them. Yeah. I changed it all when I went to um the Coventry Farmers Market and there was this lady there. Was she was like a chocolatier? Yeah. And uh I did like a whole piece on the whole Coventry Farmers Market and I was talking mm-hmm. about her chocolates and I gave her the uh, like the like uh, the url to read the fucking the reviews and when i got home i was like oh man like this older lady is gonna be listening (laughs) or like reading and i say like oh my god that was so good fuck my ass and she's not gonna (laughs) understand it and that's and that's when i started like cleaning up like the word it like the verbiage and shit in in the 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 reviews you you could probably just put a subtitle in there like fma like may have explicit content oh yeah you know i don't know like if that's your authentic voice, I wouldn't get rid of it. No, yeah. Well, once school's over, I got one class left. But once December hits, yeah, then I can actually like start doing them all the time. I f- but I feel you because I started a little blog on my page called "Don't Be Such a Cunt," and <laughs> yeah, you it, know how it, it is then. And you well, know, but I it's it's still repressed because I put it out once and then I was like, hold on, like I still have a semi professional like you know thing to keep yeah. you know like if my co-workers got a hold of this like what will happen you know and then i, I but i would bring it back my but, co-workers all know about everything i do and they yeah. just don't care and right. they don't listen That's or awesome. read them they yeah, don't give good. a fuck good like they're just co-workers nobody wants to read a food review i, yeah. I just have the advantage of <laughs> working in two professions where profanity is a normal thing oh yeah yeah, yeah. You're a fucking hip hop producer and a chef. Yeah. And like anything goes in those two veins. Well, I, I was worried about it, but then I realized that where I work, like they can't hold any of that against me. So, no. Like I might publish that again, but the first one was like, don't be such a cunt, like ordering gluten free when you don't have celiac disease. Oh, yeah. Like, you, you, like the first one was just Ugh. like, yeah, don't do it because Dude. of what all the things that have to happen when you do that. So like, I was I was doing a fill and shift at Two Wives like a couple months ago. Uh huh. And um, I get an order in for two gluten free pizzas. Mm-hmm. Well, what the first course was? What? Fucking bruschetta. <laughs> yeah, like fuck you. Like what the fuck? And they shared it. The two people shared it. That's but bullshit. then ordered gluten free pizzas. That's being like, go make fuck sure, yourself. Make sure there's no dairy on my pizza, but I'll start with the mozzarella sticks. Yeah. 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 
Go fucking kill yourself. That, that's the thing that drives me absolutely nuts about like this like paleo thing or or all that stuff where like the people who are starting to get involved with it and want to like start eating healthy and eat that way, they don't understand the repercussions of what happens when you go to a restaurant and say, I want gluten free. You know, like, no, just eat the fucking food. Like, and just don't if you don't have it, food. don't order it. And it's so, like, yeah. you know how many uneducated losers are out there with like these Instagram pages? Like, yeah. try keto with me. Yeah. And they're like fucking eating bread. And yeah. it's just like, you don't understand it. Yeah. So don't go and right. make a Facebook yeah. page about it. Like, or, or like paleo. <laughs> uh, and they're eating fucking potatoes. Yeah. Like, fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> like, you don't understand it, and you're putting that information out there. Yeah. So if somebody else wants to get involved, they're going to look at It's like a fountain of bad information. Yeah, I, I think it just desensitizes what gluten-free actually means. Yeah. Once you meet one person with celiac disease, and, and you know, like, I've met one one guy. I hung out with him. My he cousin like a, has it. Yeah. you They can't touch it, or they're going to fucking die. Yeah. Like, that's... Different. It's that very changes serious. Everything. Yeah, it changes yeah. everything. Because I used to be one of those cunts that'd be like, "No, I want it gluten free." I'd never order at a restaurant because yeah. that's just cunty, anyways. Yeah. But you know, like, no, no, I'm not eating bread because I'm gluten free. You know, like, dude, like, ooh, I have a gluten intolerance. No, yeah. you have it or you don't. Yeah, there's yeah. no. Uh, yeah. There's a girl at my work that's gluten free, and every mm-hmm. time we bring shit in to eat, somebody always brings her like the gluten free like option. Like if they go to the bakery and get like cookies or something, yeah, they'll get her some of those. But she really is. She'll like shit her pants if she eats that shit. (laughs) The intent of gluten-free is good. I get it. It's like, oh, you're trying to eat stuff without breads or wheats or whatever. That's cool. But Just don't eat fucking breads or wheats. Just don't fucking eat it. Yeah. Just don't fucking eat it. Like, you don't have to. Is this gluten-free? Nine times out of ten, all that gluten-free shit, they replacing it with something horrible for you. It's not good for you. Yeah. 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 Yeah, It's crazy. Or rice flour. Rice flour still has some gluten in it. Yeah. And guess Mm -hmm. what? No rice allowed in a paleo or ketogenic diet. Yeah. Unless it's cheat day. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) If you want to stay in ketosis. Yeah, yeah. I'm not doing that, dude. Like, right now, like, I'll go all all the way through the week, and I'll probably take in, like... Under 50 carbs a day. Yeah. Yep. And then, like, on the weekends, then I'll fucking eat some crazy shit. But then I go back to, like, yep. you ever make fathead bread? No, what is that? Dude, it's a, I, I made it in a mug, and um, it's pretty much like a, a, like a, like a spongy bread substance that you can make with almond flour. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I made a burger the other day. Yeah. And I made the fathead bread in one of my, like, bigger mugs. So I had, it was big enough to hold the burger, yeah. and uh, you get, if you grill both sides, it'll get crispy. Cool. This shit was not. I thought it was gonna be disgusting. It was yeah. not bad. <laughs> it was like a, oh, it's like a bread alternative for somebody that's trying to do it. It's like interesting. That. Yeah, yeah. I'll send you the link. Okay. Yeah, I, I was hoping you're like I made fat head bread and it was like head cheese, and I was like, oh, oh you're no. making homemade head cheese. Hold on. <laughs> like, dude, what's going dude, on? They, they got all. Dude, head cheese is delicious. Dude, it's I go best. on fucking Pinterest, bro, and I just find all these great recipes. You can make fathead bread pizza with zero carb. Mm-hmm. It's fucking awesome. I make a I make a pretty killer cauliflower pizza crust that everyone loves. If you do it right, you can make it crispy and good. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a lot of cheese in it though, so don't think it's like the healthy option. But yeah, it's fuck like it. if you you're know. trying to do no carb. Yeah. I saw somebody make a there's a there's actually a restaurant that does it and you can find several recipes where they're doing that uh the chicken is the crust. Mm-hmm. So it's just like a thin Ooh. layer of really crispy chicken. Oh, like Taco Bell. Taco Bell did it. That <laughs> is a totally really? ketogenic fucking mm-hmm. thing Taco Bell has. Zero carb, I think. Mm-hmm. I You make me want to try that. I would not try it from Taco Bell. If I'm going to eat Taco dude. Bell, I'm going to be getting what I want. Yeah, you get what you something. want. That That's naked like, chicken chalupa, dude, that I thing get those, was the shit. I get those boats now. It's like the chalupa shaped like a boat. Oh, the double XL chalupa? The box. Yeah. Yo, I fucking went to the mall a couple weeks ago. Mm. Me and Meg were like, oh my God, let's go to Taco Bell. I was like, fuck it. And we're like sitting there and all the people in the mall are walking by. I was like, let's move our seat. And we like sat <laughs> oh, behind this partition so no one could see us. I have not had fast food in months. Dude, I got I got one of those double XL chalupas one night when I was drunk. Mm-hmm. They ate that shit in bed. <laughs> Woke up with like lettuce and shit <laughs> on my chest. Oh, me. Dude, me and Meg, like, <laughs> it's amazing. Dude, we've been very torn because there's a Chick fil A up the street. And like, uh, their food is great. Is it? However, like, me and Meg don't like to go there because of their anti gay yes. oh, sentiment. Yeah, yeah. They're but nuts. every once in a while, we'll just drive through and nobody will make sure no one's looking. And we'll just <laughs> <laughs> dude, it's just wear so, some masks. Dude, it's so funny. I'll go to the Aldi. There's an Aldi right next to it. Yeah. And, uh, 
they're closed on Sunday because they're super religious, and that's why they don't like fucking gay people. Yeah. They're totally fucking outrageous. Chick-fil-A is closed on Sunday? Dude, yeah. they're closed on Sunday. Okay. They're so Jesus. Dude, they could be bringing in a whole seventh of their fucking economy if they just opened up on Sunday. Absolutely. So we go to Aldi and get some shit on Sunday, but sitting in the parking lot and watching people pull up to it that don't know or walk in and start like slamming on the door and like screaming because they want their fucking Chick-fil-A. Dude, it's hilarious. Uh, it's crazy. Well, now I'm fucking hungry. So <laughs> thanks everybody for listening. We are going to go get our hot pot. Holla. And uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye-bye. Top shelf, knock a mouth, 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 top shelf, top 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 top